hello everyone welcome again and uh, today i'm going to show you one more project as a uh, hostel management and uh, it's some extended version of some other older projects and uh, in this project i'm using the complete mbc architecture and uh, how the what is the standardized way to work with uh, real time projects and uh, all things i follow there so for uh, development i'm using that id spring id spring sts tool and uh, completely the project is developed in java and they spend several some basic language and uh, it's good for the starting if you are going to start make, make a project or as a college level or for learning purpose so you can follow it you can use this code source code i will provide and uh, so first of all i'm going to show you a demo how it will work so uh, i'm going to run this project so if you don't know how to configure the, all the projects all the things you can watch my previous videos and that videos you go uh, you will easily understand how to do that configuration and all that thing so first of all i'm going to run this so just right click on the project and run uh, yeah run on server and uh, for this uh, it's not asking me any server in all detail but uh, my server is already running you can see here the tomcat server is already running that's why it's directly take a server and uh, if you're going to run on the, your local server so you need to configure that uh, server and uh, you can search on youtube and google also how to configure server tomcat server with sts tool you will easily find or some other things are there you can right click here or on server tab and click on add servers or something new add server and uh, configure the server here if you want the basic servers like uh, j2a and, uh, and other uh, other different different servers as well so the project is run successfully so it is a front page and then a home page there will be a two uh, login sample is there one is a student or a user a customer can uh, log in and the other one is admin so uh, before login you need to register on that particular blog so just go join us and you need to write here your detail so like i'm going to insert the demo user so i just enter a demo and uh, demo at the red gmail dot com will be the id and the mobile number is one two three four five six seven nine and gender mail course and join date from which next date you are going to join so like uh, first of march or first of april or you can say first of april right so what will be the address so you can write any address as well as you want I don't know and some other location as you want anything the next uh, more most important thing will be the password and password should be like uh, one two three so remember the two things one is the gmail id a m email id or one second one is a password so i'm going to insert one two three four so register so register successful the message is there automatically it will, it will redirect to you at the home page so you can check the database also so that is for a database i am using mysql and uh, so it's a really easy and good interface so in a student table one record will be inserted so if you want to see that record which will, will insert select a string from student and i hope okay the data is here and you can see the mobile number gender and all the details so now i'm going to log in by this credential like email and password so my password is 134 and email is this so my email is demo at the gmail.com and i'm using it as student so password will be 134 so just click on login so you can see the detail of the student like welcome demo and that all the details so after that you can log out it and uh, i'm not in uh, use the admin panel for adding an admin so already by default i gave a value to admin table so you can see the data of admin table also admin inside this admin table there is a one user only one ad admin the id is admin at the gmail and admin123 will be password so i'm going to log in as admin 
and you need to select here admin and the password will be admin admin123 so if you are admin going to log in it so admin can easily log in if uh, admin want to check available rooms so right now there is no room available because uh, admin didn't add any room so if admin wants admin can add a room so it will click on add room so just enter the room number like i'm going to insert a room number one so submit it now you can check the room details so room number one is inserted and it's not provided it's not allowed to anyone so if admin go on to add uh, allowed that room one room number one is the student name demo or something a lot uh, if he wants to allow that something in the date and students id or the students gmail id right finally click on submit so the data is inserted successfully and now you can see the room data room details so the room one number one is allotted to demo user and admin also can log out here easily and uh, there are different different pages about page and you can insert any data here and rooms uh, user can check the room details and you can add some more functionalities like add room or book room something and uh, foods also so different different images are there you can insert your food and uh, as well as contact us inside the contact us if user going to insert any data so demo or email and is demo at the gmail.com and some message you click on submit did i submit it successfully you can check the contact table inside the contact table inside the contact table the data is here you can see so this is the complete project all about you can use it in your uh, uh, college uh, college major or minor project anywhere if you feel any uh, problem if you find any trouble to configure the project you can comment me or uh, you can mail me also or you can visit that code1.com and you can visit here yeah, code1.com and the, pro and the project section you will find lots of projects uh, which will the source code of all the projects are available freely you can download the different different projects here and this project also will provide here all the links all the necessary links which will you need to do configuration and uh, uh, source code also and uh, if you like please subscribe the channel and uh, for more videos and there is a lots of contents are there if you are a programming student and you want to pro practice about the uh, coding so you can go with the problem section and there is a lots of project lots of questions are there you can solve this question the programmatical questions and uh, like uh, for that that particular project i'm using that uh, mbc architecture so you need to create uh, the project as mbc architecture and uh, i'm using that maven tool also for project configuration so you need to configure project with a web project with a uh, uh, maven tool and uh, in the form.xml i'm adding a uh, lots of dependencies i will i will provide all the links even i will provide the complete file structure so you can use this also and uh, another thing as a server i am using that uh, tomcat server so you need to configure the tomcat server or if you are not using that spring.sts tool spring sts tool so you can use the some other tool like eclipse and uh, some different tool like uh, which will be good for you and uh, also in a project configuration you can see here there is a bean classes and if you are from programming background and you know something about the programming so bean classes uh, have their own uses so in a standard way uh, it's necessary to um, make the project in this mbc way so it's a bean classes and it's model classes you can say and uh, this is the controller classes so you can just have lights and uh, uh, I miss something is called DAO classes so DAO classes and I merge the DAO and uh, that model classes so if you want to see the database class so here is a my dev.java database class so uh, if you want to add something as a uh, front-end user so you need to go in a
source package um, inside the source package there is a different different files like css files if you want to edit something if you want to edit something designing so you can edit in this file and in this is titled css and if you want to edit some images so you can add the images here and javascript file as well as and some jsv files for front end so these are the jsv files and inside the web app and you don't need to make change anything in a web.xml and this is the jsp files of there so thank you so much for watching if you like please subscribe and uh, i will provide the link related to the this project where you can download the source code easily uh, below the video